What's going on guys? This is the Red Rogue and I hope you're all doing well today. A question that I've had come up recently quite a few times is restoring items that you've previously destroyed, vendored, or disenchanted. This is mainly useful for things like armor that you might have gotten rid of recently, especially since you can potentially convert that into tier armor pieces via the Revival Catalyst, a topic I've covered in one of my most recent videos. This short video will show you the step-by-step -step process to restoring items that you've gotten rid of. While this can be done without even logging into the game, I find it easier to just show you folks a way that you can do it while logged into your character, and it actually doesn't even matter which character you're on since you can access all versions of your World of Warcraft account from the same item restoration page. First, you're going to open up your game menu by pressing escape, if you haven't changed the key binding for it or anything like that. Then you'll click on the support button at the top of the game menu. This should bring up the Customer Support tab, and from here you'll see a few options such as submitting bugs or feedback, account hack claims, and item restoration. Click on the item restoration image, and it will let you choose to either copy the URL or just press OK and it'll open up your primary web browser to the item restoration page. If you aren't in-game, then you can also just do a quick search online for WoW item restoration, and it should be the very first link that pops up but doing it directly from in-game removes any weird chances of getting like a potentially shady website or anything like that. Not that I've seen one before, but you never know nowadays. From here, you're going to be given a brief explanation of what the item restoration does. There are some rules and restrictions to this process, which I'll go over at the end of the video as well. For now, we're just going to click on the Begin Item Restoration button. On the next page, you'll see a list of every server that you have characters on on all active versions of World of Warcraft, with my example having all my Dragonflight and Wrath of the Lich King Classic characters available. If for some reason you have multiple WoW accounts, then you want to make sure that the View tab on the top right corner shows either all WoW accounts or the specific account that you want to restore items on. For our example today, I'm just going to pick my main rogue on Area 52, and clicking on the Server Name tab will drop down a list of all of the characters that I have. I'll then click on the character portrait of the one I'm looking for that I want to restore stuff on. It might take a second to load, but once it does, you should see a list of most of the items that you've sold, destroyed, or disenchanted in the recent past. Clicking on each of the items will add it to your selected items list on the right-hand side of the screen. You can use this item restoration feature once per week, and with it you can restore up to 50 items with that weekly reset cooldown. You should notice as well, depending on how the item was removed from the game, that it will have a collect on delivery requirement of either gold or the reagents you received from disenchanting it. You'll need to have these on hand when you get to the next step, which is confirming your restoration request and retrieving the items from the in-game mail system. If it was an item that you simply just destroyed, then there is no charge for restoration. You should receive your restored items in the mail very quickly, so head over to any in-game mailbox and get your stuff back. Anyways, hopefully this video helps some newer folks out, or maybe people who just didn't know this feature even existed, as there have been plenty of times in the past where I've wanted to get an old trinket back, or a piece of gear that I either intentionally or sometimes unintentionally vendored. As I mentioned a moment ago, there are restrictions to what can and cannot be restored, so I'll just pop these up on screen now so you can pause and look them over if there happens to be something that you aren't seeing in your restoration list that you think should be there. Oh, and you will want to check the buyback tab at a vendor in-game if it was something you recently sold, as the last 12 items are kept in this buyback section of the menu until you log out. Anyways folks, if you have any questions then feel free to ask in a comment. As always, my appreciation and gratitude to all my viewers, subscribers, patrons over on Patreon, and Twitch subs. You folks all help make these Sheba shenanigans possible. Thank you all so very much for watching. This is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.